Hello, my name is Amy Ecker and welcome to my channel. So today I am using the Best of Me products from the Snow White line with the Snow White palette, the Lippy from the late 30s, and I am trying their mascara in this pan, in this tin. Yes, mascara in a tin. Can you believe it? Neither could I, so I had to try it. And that's the mascara that you see on me right now. Ooh, so pretty. So I was asked to test this bit from of, of Besame's from one of my subscribers, Everything Ellie. So hello, Miss Everything Ellie. I also want to give a big shout out to her daughters, Bronte and Sis. So ladies, I hope you like this video because this video is for you. So if you guys want to see how I use these products, how did they work? How did they act? And how did I create this look? You're in the right spot, so stay tuned. Okay, I'm super pumped to try these Besame products, and one of my YouTubers, Everything Ellie, suggested that I give these a try. I had been looking at these products for a while, but haven't tried them yet, so we're going to try these, and hopefully we will have found a new product to use. I do know that she uses these lippies, and so I am real excited about trying these. I want to give a, a shout out to Ellie's daughters, Bronte and Sis. Hello, lovely ladies. Just want to say hey, and I'm looking forward to using these products your mama suggested. So here we go. I think I'm going to go ahead and do my lips first. So these colors are supposed to be very true to color from when Snow White came out and I'm looking forward to trying that. Even though Snow White had a bit of a redder lip, I'm not getting that brave. I'm not getting that brave, ladies. That's all I'm saying. So I'm going to use this color by Morphe, which is called Backseat Love. It's kind of a peachy color and it looks like this baby needs a little bit of sharpening. So let's get our sharpening on, right? I will say I spent a little bit extra money buying an Anastasia Beverly Hills sharpener because I kept having issues with my stuff breaking and I was watching a YouTuber say you probably need to, if you're having trouble sharpening your pencils, you may need to upgrade and get a better sharpener and ever since I've done that, I can sharpen away. I know, rabbit trail. All right, so that is a light peachy color. So we are going to uh, add the Besame Cosmetics C226 Portrait Peach. And I love how it has um, this kind of look to the top. They smell yummy. And I wanna say this was done in the 40s. Okay, that is a really creamy lippy, and again, it smells amazing. One of my girlfriends, you can give her any kind of lipstick, and she will make it look literally just like this. So every time, when I first opened this and saw this, I was like, oh my god, this is Jill. Hey, Jill. Because, oh my, she, I don't know how she does it, but her lipsticks always look like that. I do like the container that it comes in. Very pretty, very retro. I love the bullet look. It just, it's lovely. So now we have our lips done. We are going to get into the Snow White, and it wasn't the 40s, it was 1937 as far as the collection goes. It would have helped if I read the back of this, right? So anyways, this is the Disney collection. It's the Besame I'm Wishing Shadow Palette, and it has got some gorgeous colors inside. In fact, I was looking at it and I was like, oh man, what to do? What to do? So here are the colors and I'm trying to not get the ring light or the lights in there, so sorry. Sorry, but it's a very pretty palette and it comes with a massive light. I do love the, on the interior of light. How about, it has a very large mirror and it on the mirror it does have some pretty detail 
and at the top right here it says make a wish so this also says love's first kiss and I'm sorry it's got so much flashback or not flashback but it's so metallic on the inside you can kind of see everything in my little studio so I apologize for that I just um I'm kind of like I don't want to say tongue-tied because that's that's not the right word but I'm really confused on what I'm gonna do as far as what are we gonna do how are we gonna make this work all right I think we will pick up your majesty and that's gonna be kind of in my transition area it's kind of a nice cool tone and then right up underneath the brow, I'm going to pick up this So Fair. And that will sneak right up underneath that brow. It does have some fallout in this. Okay, switching brushes. We are now going to pick up, hmm. How about some of this color here called Wishing Well? I like the name of that. It's almost like a play on names. You can wish in a well, so a wishing well, or you can wish someone well. This Wishing Well color is a bit peachy. And since I love to read since I was a little kid, this palette will go in my... I've got a bookshelf in this room, and it's got the book type makeup. And this will make just a cute addition, I think, on display. Because who... what little girl didn't enjoy reading Snow White? Okay, so we've got a bunch of the kind of neutral or cool tone colors on, and I'm just going to kind of blend them together. And since Snow White, had, she was the first one to start a smoky eye, I think we're going to do a smoky eye, and it might even be with blue, which is the color here called Kindness. This could get interesting. What I'm going to do, I believe, is take a blue pencil. That might be too light, actually. We're going to set a base for this blue because I'd like it to kind of pop, not get muddy. And this is for Makeup Geek. The color is in Cobalt. All right, so we've got kind of a base going on. Now I'm going to pick up a bit of a flatter brush and we're gonna pick up this color Kindness. Also going to pick up a bit of a fluffy brush get a little bit of kindness on there and then we'll use that to kind of buff those edges so by putting that bright blue down here it it really made that blue pop which is exciting and if you can see down on the lid, it's a very solid blue color, which is nice. It's not patchy. So when you're doing a smoky eye, sometimes having that base is really, really helpful. Because again, you get more of a solid color versus if you can see kind of where I'm going above where I put that blue, how it is, it is softening, but it's also a little bit Kind of a little bit patchier or not 
Hachi may not be the word, but it because it is such a dark blue color, as you put it on your lids without a base, you kind of lose that brightness. Maybe that's what I was trying to say. Which is kind of why I put the eyeliner more towards the on the actual eyelid and then that way as the color goes up it lightens out lightens up lightens out potato potato so you get kind of a variegated color there okay I do need a bit of a darker brown which is not in this collection and that's okay so we're gonna pick up another palette to use its brown and one of the things that I love about these colors is it is very retro and it's very fun and who doesn't like to have a little bit of fun except fun haters I don't think they like fun fun haters don't like to have fun okay so I'm picking up the boxycharm box and or this was from last month March what month are we in? Heck, I don't know. March's um, box from BoxyCharm. This is from Pure. I really did like this brown. I thought it was a, a great brown to use. So I'm taking kind of a smaller brush here and picking up that brown. And just kind of going on the outer edges because I'm trying to encapsulate that blue and ground it so even though I'm doing a smoky eye I'm adding in another color onto that smoky eye so that I can kind of ground that blue I don't know if this is snow white approved of course but hopefully she doesn't mind a little creativity okay I'm going to take my blending brush and kind of go over those So to clean up, because I look like I've gotten boxed, I'm going to take my Maybelline New York concealer and I'm going to just kind of put a stripe on either side where I want to clean it up. Okay, so if you ever have, you're putting on eye, eyeshadow and you've already got your powder and everything set, you can, again, always just use a concealer and kind of clean it up and get that sharp look again. That's always kind of helpful. Now I'm going to pick up the Marc Jacobs pencil. This is in the color Earthquake and that's going to go on my inner waterline. I am going to pick up a Makeup Geek. This is actually a mini concealer brush. It's a C21. This brush is probably pretty, pretty old. You can see it's, it's been loved. It's been loved over the years. I'm going to pick back up that brown. Okay, so we've grounded the blue with the browns which is nice and helpful there and decisions decisions i'm not sure i'm totally into the matte lip i know i gotta have my sparkle on my lips right okay so we're gonna pick up the kylie jenner glitz I am sure if Snow White had a chance to put glitter on her lips, she would have. However, she didn't have a chance to try glitter. I'm just saying, she would have it on her lips. Absolutely. All right, we're going to pick back up the color Earthquake, and I'm going to use that to line my upper lash line. So what do you think, sis? Would... Snow White put glitter on her lips or do you think she would have stayed with a matte lip? You'll have to let me know what you and Bronte think. So 
since it's kind of a smokier eye, I don't mind using a pencil because a pencil is never really exactly a total fine line. And to me, that's okay. Sometimes not having that perfect wing, which y'all know I can't do a damn wing, so it's not like I have anything that I can do perfect on that. But for those that can do a perfect wing, sometimes just having a smudgy top lash line is the bomb. And for those that can't do a kicktail kind of wing liner, we like the smudgy top liner look. <laughs> okay, so now I'm really interested in this Besame mascara cake. So allegedly, I've got a hot mess. I don't even know where I got this hot mess from. Hold on a second. Okay, so one of the things that I did want to try from Besame is the cake mascara. This is also supposed to be remnants reminiscence of back in the day and so it comes in this little package here and we'll open this pretty little package and it says Besame so you're supposed to get this wet this really scares the heck out of me I have no lies to tell I mean if I'm already getting blue and stuff all over my hands and not even sure how I did it do I really want to try this kind of mascara on a day that I'm having issues it comes with this little brush here, which I think is so cute. So I'm going to take some, I think I'm going to flip it over because I really like how cute that scribe is. I don't think I want to mess that up yet. So I'm going to put some purified water on this cake bit. I feel like I'm doing a science project, which I did. And then you're supposed to... I guess move the brush around and then you're supposed to paint your lashes and ooh I clumped it up on that brush check that out so I'm getting a kick out of trying something that most likely my great-grandma used and I was really lucky to have my great-grandma until I was in my 20s because everyone in my family had babies early so I'm wondering if she used something like this. Okay, y'all, I was not expecting this to work. This is so freaking cool. Check that out. No mascara? Mascara. Okay, so I think this works if it's more kind of light if you want kind of a light and wispy eyelash, I think this is doing a great job. It's kind of lengthening, but not thickening, if that makes sense. It's very pretty. So if you just need a lengthening mascara, this is definitely the one. I don't know that I noticed really a difference, although if I'm gonna pick which side I liked better, I am going to go with the original Besame brush. That one seemed to have done a little bit better. I don't know why. I would have thought that the spoolie would have. But this little Besame brush works much, much better. I just wish the handle was a tad bit longer. I feel like I'm playing with a little Barbie kind of bit. Now the one thing that I also did read, and I plan on doing this, if I would have thought about it, I would have done it already, is using, once you get this wet, as an eyeliner. So I'm just going to take kind of a flat angle brush for fun and kind of get in that cake. Oh yeah. So there you go kind of light and wispy also but that cake is drying too so very interesting I think I'm gonna take keep this out and try it again as far as the using it as an eyeliner I think I really like that as an eyeliner so anyways I went ahead and finished this look using this Snow White palette 
the mascara cake and the beautiful retro lippy i'm gonna go ahead and do something with this hair probably not a lot it is a weekend but we'll go from thank there. you so much for watching my video using the best of me products i love the snow white as a child and so using the snow white collection to create this look was absolutely so much fun i did really enjoy also using the cake mascara i never used something like that before so being able to try that has been absolutely amazing so if you like this video give it a thumbs up if you haven't subscribed, please consider subscribing or refer me to a friend. And as always, you have a choice, so make it a great one. Until next time.